The depiction or you can say the vision of the positive governance is found in the Shanti Parv of Mahabharata. So, the shloka goes like this, naiv rajyam na raja seed, na dandu na cha dandika, dharmi naiv praja sarva rakshanti cha parasparam. There was no sovereignty, no king, no chastisement, no chastisizer. All men used to protect one another righteously by dharma. So, this is the vision of positive governance. There was no need of punishment, there was no need of instrument for punishment that, that is what Nandika is. People were protecting themselves, Praja, the Jana, the, the population was protecting themselves in the context of with the help of with the reference of what? With the reference of dharma. Dharma is righteous behavior arising from the experience and knowledge of harmony within oneself and harmony with oneself and social and natural surrounding or environment. So, this is the answer of the question of Yudhishthir, which um, he asked to Bhishma, how this system of king and kingship came into being. So, this is the positive vision of the positive governance prevalent in the Indian tradition. Yoga is certainly the foundation of this vision. Similar thoughts are elaborated in much greater detail in the Arthashastra, uh, Arthashastra of Kautilya or Chanakya. Arthashastra is perhaps the most ancient text about governance, about socio-economic, uh, about the economic system and this was written by Acharya Vishnugupta or Chanakya or Kautilya. He is, uh, was the mentor of Chandragupta Mori, which is considered to be the golden period of human history. So, Arthashastra says that Sukhasya Moolam Dharma, Dharmasya Moolam Artha, Arthasya Moolam Rajyam, Rajyasya Moolam Indri Jaya. Indriya jayasya mool vinayah, vinayasya moolam vraddhopa seva, vraddhopa sevaya vijnanam, vijnanam atmanam sampadayet, sampadditam jatatmam bhavati, jatatma sarvarthe sanyujjate. The basis of sukha or all true pleasantness is dharma or righteous conduct, that is the meaning of sukhasya moolam dharma. Dharmasya moolam artha, the basis of dharma is earth or wealth. We discussed about the meaning of earth, the power of transaction, the physical uh, possessions, all that comes into earth. Arthasya moolam rajyam, the basis of the wealth creation, basis of earth is raj, state. If state is weak, wealth creation will also suffer. The basis of the stability of a state lies in control over indriyas or senses, fac sense faculties providing pleasure and that is what it says, Rajasya Moolam Indriya Jaya, a state where the rulers and subjects do not have control on their senses. If they let their sense pleasure and urge to enjoy sense ple pleasure, uh, let if they let loose this without conscious understanding of the harmony within and harmony around, then the state will not remain stable. Indriya Jayasya Moolam Vinaya and how that self control can come? The self control can come through humility. Humility meaning understanding the limitation of my knowledge and understanding limitation of my capability. Until I understand that I have limited knowledge, I will not strive to know more, I will not get into self reflection, I will not get into the self introspection. So, 
the basis of control of senses, the sense faculties is humility and from where humility comes? The humility comes vinayasya moolam vradhopa seva. The basis of humility is devotion, though who, devotion to whom? Devotion to the grown old through wisdom. Vraddha in the yogic tradition, vraddha are considered of three types. Vayovradh means those who are uh, vradh or old uh, by age, Gyanavradh those who are old by knowledge and Tapovradh those who are old because of their penance, their sacrifice, their rigor in pursuance of the dharmic objective, the pursuance of the true knowledge. So, we we attain humility by taking care and respecting vradhopaseva those who are old because if we take care of the old those vradh those grown ups can pass on their experience their wisdom their knowledge to the younger generation so that is the basis of humility and when we receive knowledge, we realize the limitation of our own knowledge and that makes us humble, that makes us aware that how much is there which we do not know and that brings a sense of openness to know, examine not only external world, but also examine internal world, our intrinsic uh, tendencies. Vradhopa Sevaya Vijnanam that is the important thing when we ex, when we respect experience and knowledge vijnan the true knowledge emerges if we do not respect experience if we do not respect knowledge vijnan the scientific knowledge cannot be discovered through the devotion to the wise one attains knowledge and what happens when we attain knowledge more the knowledge is existing in a society, better the state will function. So, knowledge based society and knowledge based governance is the foundation of the basic tenet of the governance in the yogic tradition. Yoga also talks about controlling of the senses, yoga also talks about jnana and this most popular sutra, the most popular uh, hymn of the Arshast also talks about dharma, the harmony, self control, knowledge and it connects beautifully how knowledge is important in terms of creation and dissemination to run a state effectively and to perform state duties with maximum efficiencies the functionaries of the state must learn to control their sensuous need, maximize their internal potential, respect knowledge and those who have vanquished their baser selves, the limited self which self which considers my existence limited to my physical body and when with this whole process jitatmam bhava, when this process people get the control over their sense, sensuous pleasure, they become prosperous naturally and then only they can retain their prosperity and if they can retain the prosperity, then only a state can be successful and individual can be successful. So, you can see in this shloka self control, governance and generation of wealth all three aspects are interlinked. 